Okay, we're now going to look at a second way to visualize a function of two variables, and that's by drawing its level curves. Now you've already seen examples of level curves in everyday life. For example, if you look at a weather map in the newspaper, you might see a picture that looks like this. So here's our country. This is not going to be very accurate, but there's, there's our country. And then you'll see some lines. For example, there would be a line like this, where say this is 50 degrees. And here's another line where it's you know, 60 degrees. Here's another line where it's 40 degrees and so on. So there are lines drawn where the temperature is the same at every point in the line. So there's a function which assigns to every point on the map the temperature at the Earth's surface at that point. And we're visualizing that function by drawing the curves where that function has the same value. Well, not every single one, but we're drawing some selected values. Another example you may have seen is if you ever go hiking and look at a map, you might see a contour map. So here's where the elevation is 2,000 feet. Here's where the elevation is 3,000 feet. And there's a mountain. You might sort of see some concentric curves like this. So maybe here it's 4,000 feet. Here it's 5,000 feet. So here, there's a function which assigns to every point the elevation at that point on the map. And we visualize it by drawing some curves where the elevation is the same. And that gives us an idea of what the peaks and valleys of this landscape look like. So this is a weather map, a contour map. Now, mathematically, the formalism is like this. So let f be a function of two variables. Then for a given number k, we can look at the set of all x and y in the domain. So here, d is the domain of f. We can look at the set of all x, y in the domain such that f of x, y equals k. And this is called a level curve, or you could also call this a level set. Generically, it's a curve, but the more general term is level set. <clears throat> so let's look at some examples for the functions we've seen previously. So first, our first example was f of x, y equals x minus y plus 1. So a level set is a set where this expression, x minus y plus 1, is equal to some constant. So let's, let's draw these. So f equals 0 when y equals x plus 1. So the level set, or level curve, looks like this. So here's where f equals 0. On the line y equals x, f is equal to 1. On the line y equals x minus 1, f is equal to 2. And so on. So the, if we draw the level sets where the values are integers, they don't have, you don't have to pick integers, but you can, then we're going to get some equally spaced parallel lines. That's what's going to happen with a plane that's not horizontal. So if you have a plane that's not horizontal or, or vertical, then the level sets of the corresponding function 
are going to be equally spaced parallel lines. Um, let's look at our next example. f of xy equals the square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. So let's draw the contour lines or level sets or level curves in the xy plane over here. So f equals 0 when x squared plus y squared equals 9, where in polar coordinates, the distance r to the origin is 3. So let's draw that curve first. It's hard to draw a perfect circle, but anyway. So here's where f equals 0, and this is where r equals 3. Now, f equals 1 when x squared plus y squared equals 8. And this means that r is 2 times the square root of 2, which is approximately 2.82, or 2.83, 2.82. So it's pretty close to 3. So the level set where f equals 1 is quite close to the level set where f equals 0. So here's where f equals 1 and r equals the square root of 8. Now f equals 2 when x squared plus y squared equals 5. So r equals the square root of 5, which is approximately 2.2. .2. So this line is a little further away, so it's going to look something like this. So here's f equals 2, and r equals the square root of 5. And finally, f equals 3 when x squared plus y squared equals 0. That is to say, it's the origin. So, so that level set, where f equals 3 is just a single point, f equals 3 at the origin. Now, the fact that the contour lines I keep saying contour lines, so the official word is level curves. Um, so these level curves on the outside are quite close together, and then they get further apart. So we could draw some more level curves, like we could look at where f equals a half, or f equals, so f equals a half would be somewhere in between these two, and f equals one and a half would be somewhere in between these two, and f equals two and a half would be somewhere in here. And you see those contour lines, as you move towards the center, are getting further and further apart. And what that means is that if you look back at the graph, so remember the graph looks as half of a sphere, so near the boundary of the domain, the graph has a very steep slope. So that means the contour lines are very close together, because if you just move a little bit in the xy plane, you're going to move up a lot on the graph. While near the center of the domain, the graph has a very gentle slope, and that means the level sets will be spaced further apart.